before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello friends welcome to entry i am mirza atisham beg your quant educator and today i am going to discuss a very important section from your quant one look at this chapter permutation combination it is an important chapter because in every examination in every banking examination a question has been asked frequently on this topic in fact there is a whole segment like ratio ages and partnership and allegation if you consider this as a segment then you will also consider permutation combination and probability as a segment as well okay so these are the larger segment and uh, most number of questions have been asked in this from this segment okay in fact a di a di has been asked as well on probability so it is a term it is a term for permutation combination to use now first of all let me give you the previous homework question i hope you all have given the correct answer in the comment box let's take a look at the question the cost price of goods with a bankrupt is 25500 okay so cp has been given <clears throat> and if the goods had realized in their full value all right his creditors would have received 85 paise that means uh for a rupee okay that means 85% of the valuation will be come back will come back on the cp okay but 2/5 of the goods were sold at 17% and remaining at that means 3/5 that means two part has been sold for 17% below cp while three part has been sold for 22% below cp all right now what we can do is <clears throat> we have to figure out the whole percentage of a combined part which uh, which sells below cp now if you use allegation method and suppose the middle value as x you will get 20% below the cost price of overall cost price now as you know that if you realize your full potential you will get 85% for a rupee but here after selling some part below their cost price then you will get only 20% below that means out of 85 you will also solve 80% of 85 now you will be getting 85 into 4 by 5 that means 68% or you can say 68 paise for a rupee would be sold below the cost price now you will find the valuation as 68 paise per rupee so that's what the question says i hope you enjoyed this question let's go ahead and solve some permutation and combination just remember one thing what is permutation and what is combination basically permutation is known as arrangement while combination is known as selection but it's not like that because permutation itself in a two way process first you need to select that and after that you will have to arrange it all right in permutation order matters remember that while in combination order doesn't matter all right now the first question says that in how many ways the letters of the word aflatoon okay so aflatoon be arranged if the consonant and vowels must occupy alternate places okay so first of all you need to find out the places available there are eight places available for all the letters while there were four vowels as well as four consonants okay in consonants there are no such letter which is repeating but in vowels there are two letters which is repeat which are repeating first is a and the second one is o so a a o o and l t n f all right these are the consonant ones so if you are going to arrange consonant you will clearly say that it will be arranged with factorial 4 while the same thing will happen with vowels as same thing will happen with vowels as well but as you know that the repetition comes then you will divide them by factorial 2 into factorial 2 so vowels will arrange and consonant will arrange now what you can do is as you can clearly see that the position hasn't given it 
सो हाउ कैन यू से दैट वॉवल विल सिट ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस एंड कॉन्सोन विल सिट ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस बिकॉज ऑल्टरनेट प्लेसेज मीन्स आइदर वॉवल्स विल सिट फर्स्ट और कॉन्सोनेट विल सिट फर्स्ट दैट मीन्स टू पॉसिबल केसेज विल अराइज एंड इन बोथ द केसेज सेम नंबर ऑफ परमिटेशन विल हैपन सो योर आंसर वुड बी लाइक फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड योर आंसर वुड बी टू एट्टी एट हेंस ऑप्शन सी वुड बी द करेक्ट वन ऑल राइट लेट्स गो एंड इन हाउ मेनी वेज कैन अ पर्सन सेंड इन्विटेशन कार्ड टू सिक्स ऑफ इज फ्रेंड्स इफ ही हैज फोर सर्वेंट्स टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द कार्ड्स ना हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व दिस एज यू नो दैट यू हैव यू हैव फोर सर्वेंट्स सर्वेंट वन सर्वेंट टू सर्वेंट थ्री सर्वेंट फोर while you have five six friends as well okay what you can do you will see that you are sending your servant to your friends so that means servant 1 servant 2 servant 3 servant 4 all the servants can go to friend 1 okay if all the servants can go to friend 1 then that means all the four servants can go to friend 2 as well and the same thing will happen same process will continue with friend 3 4 5 and 6 as well that means all the four servants can go to all the six what friends so for the first first possible case to happen would be four possible cases will happen and four servants all the four servants can go to friend 1 okay so four possible cases will arise or 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 you can say not or and because all the six friends has to be uh, invited so the second friend will also relate with the same possibility third will also fourth fifth and sixth that means all the six friends will have four possibility that means 4 to the power 6 would be the correct answer okay let's go ahead here it is saying that how many six digit numbers have all their digits either all or all odd or all even okay so you have you have 0 to 9 digits in which 5 are even and 5 are odd but in even there will be a digit which is known as zero as well now you have to now you have to arrange six digit number okay what you can do is what you can do is for the first digit if you are arranging an odd uh, with the odd numbers that means you will say that all the six all the uh, <clears throat> that means all the five digits can be possible in the first place if repetition is allowed that means the from the next onward same digit can also appear on the second place that means five possible cases will also be there next five next five next five next five that means five to the power six possible cases will be there for if you are happening with uh, if you are arranging the digits with all odd digits but what will happen if you are putting even digit in the first place you cannot allow zero because if you are allowing zero to put here that means you will have only five digit number that means zero has been debarred from the first place first place that means only four possible cases will be there for the first place but now from the second onwards all the five place all the five digits can be available so the sec- for the second possibility it would be 4 into 5 to the power 5 so either this one will come or either this one will come then you will take the sign of either or which is plus and you will take 5 to the power 5 common hence you will be left with 5 to the power 5 into 9 and you will get the final answer as option a all right <clears throat> let's go ahead look at this question this is a very good question How many batting orders are possible for the Indian cricket team if there is a squad of 15 to choose? So you have to choose it from 15. As you know that IPL is about to start. Start. That means you you should get into the mode of cricket by solving a permutation combination question. You have to so you have to choose you have to choose 11 players from a squad of 15. All right, that's good. 
but the condition says that from such that Sachin Tendulkar is always chosen. So first of all, you need to say that you have been left with only 14 players, 14 player squad and the selection will also be erased by one, eliminated by one. So you have been left to choose only 10 players from a 14 squad. So you will say that 14 C 10. Okay. But the question is asking about how many batting orders are possible, not just the selection. So once you choose the 11 players, you will put them in arrangement. But the condition says only for selection, not for batting order arrangement. So all the 11 players can play in all the 11 places. That means for all the 11 players, it will be factorial 11 as well. Once you select 11 player because one player is, has already been chosen. So you have already got 11 players after choosing the next 10 player. While getting all the 11 players, you will say that all the 11 players can bat on all the 11 positions available. So you will say that factor 11 will also be there. After solving this question, you will be getting an answer as 1001 into factorial 11. Let's move on. How many numbers between 200 and 1200 can be formed with the digits 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3? So basically you have to form either of three digit number or of four digit number. How can you say that? Look at this. It is between 200 and 1200. So either the, the number should be of three digit or of four digit. So if you are choosing a three digit number, the first place has to be of two possibility. Either two will come or three will come because one and zero will be debarred because the number has already started from 200 and from the next one, from the next one, since you have selected one number from these two, then all the three numbers can be possible from the next place and rest two will also be possible for the third place. Now you have found that there will be 12 possible cases where you can arrange a uh, three digit number with the help of these three digits from starting 200. But what will happen when you when your limit has to be within 1200 that you will say the first digit will be fixed with one number. Okay, so the possibility will also be one. Then you will again say that uh, it could be two possibility because either one will come or zero will come there. You are wrong because you have already used one as a number. Now you cannot use because the repetition is not allowed. So what you can do is only zero will be available because if you put two here or three here, that won't match because the number has to be between 200 and 1200. Okay. Now only one case will also be there. And from now on it would be two and one. So all the possible scenario would come as two. That means either 12 possible cases will generate or two possible case will generate. So the whole possible case will generate will be 14. Hence your option E has been correct. Okay. So here is your homework question. I hope you enjoyed this session. And if you like this, share, comment and subscribe this YouTube channel. This is your homework question. I want all of you to put, uh, I want all of you to comment on the section of comment box. Okay. So that's it from my side. If you want more questions, you can give RRB rank booster quiz. It would be available daily at 10 a.m. For 15 questions, you will be getting 15 minutes. Okay. Link of this rank booster quiz has been given in the description of this video. So if you like this, share, comment and subscribe to YouTube channel. Stay with entry. We will meet in the next class with some of the best questions.